What's up guys, it's Angel here and today I'm going to be doing a little hollow stamping using the brand new Urban Dictionary collection for fall 2016 from Super Chic Lacquer. Since these holographic polishes are advertised as one coders, I thought the best way to test that out would be to use them as stamping polishes. And Super Chic set me up with my own discount code, it's TWISTAR, and it will get you 10% off of everything on the website. And this collection will be restocked this Saturday, October 15th, time to be determined. And I have all of these polishes linked down below, and I recommend you checking them out now and picking out what you want because this collection is going to sell out. So if you know what you want, you can get it in your cart and check out faster. I'm gonna be doing three stamping looks using these polishes and one random bonus swatch. So let's get started. For my base coat, I'm using Bring It On Base Coat from Super Chic Lacquer. For my base color, I'm using my favorite one coat black from Bundle Monster, linked down below. Now, it's not necessary to use a one coat black polish, but it just makes life so much easier, and I love this one. Here I'm applying Poly Peel, also from Bundle Monster, to help keep crap off my skin, and by crap, I mean nail polish. And then to prep for stamping, I apply one coat of Yellow Stopper, linked down below. This keeps the surface of your nail tacky and lets the dried polish on your stamper transfer to the nail, even though it's dried. It's kinda like magic. And for all three of my looks, I use this double-sided Celtic inspired plate from Aguas and YouTuber Opal Hazlet. And on one side, it has Celtic inspired knots. And on the other side, looks like some Druid inspired images. Very cool. I've never seen a plate like this before. I thought some gradient hollow stamping would look really cool over the black. So I chose this Celtic knot. I don't know why, I just thought it looked cool. And then I applied Rose Buddy and Trap Queen and used my scraper to kind of blend them together. And then I picked it up with my favorite stamper. This is the Big Bling Stamper from ClearJellyStamper.com and you can use my discount code TWISTAR for 10% off. And once I got it positioned where I wanted to, I just pressed down firmly. It doesn't have to be too firmly because it'll just transfer because you put on that sticky layer. And then it was time to remove that poly peel and reveal our beautiful work. And I'm just going to show you one more time how to blend those colors together to make a gradient. Because the last time I just got a little crazy and I scraped it too many times. But here you can see if you scrape slowly and not too many times, the colors will blend together, but they will also stay distinct and separate. And even though I use liquid latex, I still had to do a little cleanup. So I'm using 100% acetone and my favorite large cleanup brush from Twinkle T, link down below. And then to dry my nails super fast and make them super glossy, I applied Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat. And I really like this brush on this one. I like it. I like it a lot. And that completes the first look. And damn, super chic. I was very impressed with how these hollows stamped over black. They are very opaque. And I could see myself doing this a lot. And on to the next, I already applied base coat, blah, blah, blah. Here I'm applying the first coat of Trap Queen, which is kind of like a raspberry color. And yes, one coat opaque hollow. Oh my goodness. But even though it was opaque, I still applied a second layer just because I wanted to see how it looked. And I prefer the look of two coats of my base color. I just like the thickness it gives my nails. Then I had to do just a little bit of cleanup and I gotta credit the formula on these because it's wonderful and it really just kinda went where you put it. And whoops a daisy, got a little crazy with the liquid latex. I let that dry, peeled it off and then I did it again to protect my skin. This poly peel is linked down below. More yellow stopper to make my nails sticky and tacky. For my stamping color, I went with Zombie Crush. Great name. This is like a deep eggplant royal purple. And I actually wore this on my Cindy hand over the weekend and it is gorgeous. Then I pressed my image onto the nail and I thought this kind of looked like bamboo. Purple bamboo. It's a new thing. And then I removed my poly peel and someone always asks about my tweezers. These are rainbow oil slick tweezers. I have the semi-curved ones. I have them linked down below, but I mean, you can get any ones you want, but those are the ones that I like. 
Once I finished stamping, I applied Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat to all nails, which I thought really brought out the hollow rainbows of this polish. Very nice. And that completes the second look, and I loved how these two colors look together, and even though purple is my favorite color, I'm totally cheating on it with Trap Queen, the raspberry, because it is so saturated and just gorgeous. It's my favorite polish out of this collection. And on to the third and final look. I already have my base coat on. This is Wonder Wall, a sort of gold champagne with a little bit of a teal tint to it. And this was the only one out of the collection that I found not to be opaque on the first coat. But I'm not hating on it because it's a beautiful color and it's so light and pale. Like, I don't know how you can make it opaque in one coat anyways. And then I did a little cleanup and then I applied a little more poly peel and then I applied a little more yellow stopper. Blah, 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 rinse and repeat, all linked down below. For my stamping, I flipped the plate over and used what I'm gonna call the Druid inspired side of the plate and I used Deadpool, the teal hollow. And this ended up being super opaque as a stamping polish. Like, whoa, look at it, that is opaque. Now, I love these two colors. I love them separately and together, but for some reason, this look just wasn't working for me. It was reminding me of something and I couldn't think of it until just now. Did any of you watch the 90s X-Men cartoon? It reminds me of this version of Wolverine, particularly this section right here. Ugh, thanks for ruining it for me, Wolverine. Anyways, to finish off my Wolverine nails, I topped it with more liquid macro top coat and then I popped on a few of these two millimeter square blue jewels. And that completes the third and final look and we learned that Deadpool makes an excellent opaque stamping polish. And as a little bonus, here's what Deadpool looks like on its own and it is beautiful and like I said earlier, perfectly opaque in one coat. Although I'm wearing two here because I just like the look of two. And that completes my looky look, my review, my test, whatever you wanna call it, of the super chic Urban Dictionary collection. And if you like these, I'm guessing you did. These are going to be restocked Saturday, October 15th. I recommend you check these out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I don't know, maybe you'll subscribe because Otherwise, what the hell am I doing here? You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye And that completes all four of my fall as f as f fudge nail art looks. I had plans to start this AF or as fudge. Come on, we all know what it means.